Right, so uh, welcome back everyone. Welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption. We're back. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. If you guys missed yesterday's stream, what can I say? You're a loser. Sorry we started this uh, stream so late. The wife decided she was gonna braid my hair. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's been braided. I fancied a change. She fancied doing it, so I was like, awesome. Let's do it. So anyway, a uh, big shout out to the guys for joining us over at Twitch.tv. Also, uh, a big shout out goes out to the sponsors. As always, without them, this wouldn't be possible. A big shout out goes out to Cinch Gaming, City Keys. Uh, and not forgetting the infamous people over at Razor.com. Uh, and also not forgetting the T4 Army merchandise. If you guys want to snag yourself something awesome from the merchandise store, do it now before it's too late. Also, uh, not forgetting uh, G2A.com over at Twitch.tv. And not forgetting the infamous people over at G4G and Streamlabs. Giving us donations, lit live and streamline straight to the donations hotline. So if you guys ever want to support the live stream, that's the best place to do it. All major parent credit cards. That's right. You can donate stealing money from your parents. Best inspiration ever. Uh, also, a uh, big shout out to Spade809 for joining us over at Twitch.tv with the first night, first view, first comment. Well done to you, young Spade. Also, not forgetting, guys, I'm over at Discord.com. If you guys want to join the conversation over there, be sure to head over there right now. Uh, but anyway, we're back with Arthur Morgan. He's just resting on the rock. I love it. Uh, there's a couple of pelts over there. We killed the cougar yesterday. It was pretty sick. All right, let's just check out what we need to do. We've got a couple of... Okay, we can go see John just here. If you remember yesterday, we actually went and uh, stole the the uh, oil wagon. Where's my main horse? Horse! Where are you? Is that you? You're my favorite buddy. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, where the hell am I? Okay, my horse should be over here. And here it is, my trusty steed. He's such a good horse. You're a fucking idiot, Reverend. He gets drunk and he just doesn't stop following me around. He's a psycho, okay? He's a goddamn psycho and I'm trying to eat my goddamn stew. I got shit to do with John. Uh, right, let's uh, let's head and, and go and find John. We stole the wagon yesterday. One thing I'm a bit pissed off about is that I'm not getting enough loot. I'm not getting enough money from all the crime we're committing, which is a bit pissed tight. But I love the fact that we're, we we can we can uh, we're with John. I love it because you because we played Red Dead, and then like I was like, oh, are we gonna see John? Are we gonna see John? And yeah, we we saw we get to see John. I love it. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <sighs> okay. So, uh, I can take John's spot and take a sit on the log? I don't think so. Right, before we head out of town, uh, I mean, out of camp today, uh, I want to make sure I, I'm contributing. Um, so I'm gonna quickly smash some logs. Choppity chop chop. Right, for all you guys out there who said I'd never make it. That's right! I made it! I hate comments. Boom! That's right, you get done. All the guys who ever said gaming was a disease. Bow! That's right, kablamo! And this one is for all the people who don't like vapors. Kablamo! Blamo! That's that's how I feel. This one goes out to my mom. Bam! That's right, all the power in the world. Chest, I didn't know you could do that. Uh, you don't need to buy food. Kill an animal cr and craft a camp. You then cook that food and store it for later. I've got to try this out now because Chest has told me that. Look, it's Bill, everybody. Oh, look, we're all sitting around the same fire. Right, let's cook something. So Chess says I can cook something, right? So I'm going to cook this piece of uh, plain big game, okay? Cook. So we'll cook this up, right? And then... Oh, yeah, it's stove! Oh, my fucking God. I didn't even know you could do that, Chess! Cook another. Okay, so if I've got some pre-cooked meat, I can eat the meat while I'm out and about. I thought I had to eat it straight away. Right, gentlemen. Uh, I'd love to stand around and be an unproductive member of society, but we got chores to do. Pick up. I'll do one of these bags, and then I'll do another bag. Got to drop this uh, bag over here. Put it down. Boom. There you got You got it. Dead eye, 50% to level 4. Okay. 
Good news. Top up the water in the bin. Top up the water in the wash bin. Where's the wash bin? Oh, we can bath here? Pour out. That was weird. Okay, let's, uh... But times are wasting. We gotta move it out. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta do this thing Chester's telling me about. Right. Hey. hey, how you doing? Nothing there. I didn't even think to use the binoculars. You know that. Binoculars. I'm looking for aminals. Well, there's normally deer up on the ridge. If there's none down here. Stick with me, chest. Stick with me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right now. I really wanna, I really wanna yeah. nail this. You know, this is really annoying me now. Aha! Found some. Okay, here we go. Study. Okay, and then he said the bottom. Oh right, so white. Oh, I see. L two. Oh, it's only a one star pelt. Right. Okay. Right, I see. So that's a one-star pelt. Oh, I see. So it's not about how I'm killing it. It's about that actual pelt is is only one star anyway. Okay, that's three stars. That's a three three star. That's a, that's three stars apparently. What's that? What's that? Oh, look at that. Okay, that's a one star. Oh, look. So that one track. Yes! Oh no, they're running. Fuck, they're running. We gotta go out. Where's the goddamn three star gone? Just here! There, there, there he is, there he is. Three stars, there he is! That's the three star there. Yep, here's the three star. Track that bitch. Track him, mate, they track him. Let's just double check, because I don't want to take a risk. That's him. That's him right there. Got you. Now you're mine. Tracking. Tracking. Got him! Got him! One shot! Let's get at him! Skin it. Skinny! This is gonna be a three star. I didn't know how it was done. Turn away, kids. This is disgusting, this bit. But this is how they prepare your favorite steak, everyone. No, you see, he said good deer meat. He said, he said good deer. Did you, did you guys see that? It's, it, it said good. Understand it. Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go back to camp. Hitch the horse. Right, let's go and see. Uh, let's go and see that guy about crafting. Donate. Right. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. All right. Okay. Good dear carcass. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Well, I'm not very, not very happy about that. Right. Anyway, what's going on? Let's have a look at the map. Let's see what what's happening here. Okay, John's gone down to the thing, and there's something else we can start here. Let's, let's start it up with uh, Abigail. Oh, Abigail. Oh, let's go see Abigail. That's John's wife. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is? Yeah, he doesn't actually. Yeah, he doesn't actually make the actual lassos as well, can does I he? Ask you it just, it just, he just pulls them out of his ass and just starts Very whipping them around. Uh, what's up, Apricot, Jibber Fruit, and Positive Bot? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. Please. Okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you. Okay. Got your chest. So you're saying... Lasso it first, then, then go for the kill. But that's a lot of chasing, man. That's a lot of chasing. Is 
Is that good? What you up to? Mm. Anything fun? I'm not sure what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to lasso them. You wanna come fishing with me? Hey, we're gonna go fishing! Sure, you're right. It's about time that you started to earn your keep. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose. I don't have a fishing pole. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. You need to lift me onto the horse. Okay. I can get it okay. by myself. Come on up. Up you get, boy. All right. All right. Hold on so, where are we We're going to go fishing, dummy. To We're going fishing. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch okay. first. Okay. All right. Alright, let's get off the freaking horse then. Where should we stand, Uncle Good Arthur? question. I don't know. Sure. We're all finding this out together, me. young man. Young Jack. Jack grows up I to be uh, the start. Avenger of John Marston. Spoiler alert if you haven't played Red Dead. Hey, I got a fishing rod that just pulled out of my ass. First, I need some bait. Okay, so L1. Hold L1, and then use the cheese. Why aren't you fishing? I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder, and bring it forward in smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Woo! Like your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait. So yank hard to hook. Okay. It. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. There, got it. Okay. I see. I see. Oh, quick! Quickly rotate. Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and stiff. Hey, we got a fish! Look, oh, Jack, it's a red fin pickerel. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these small ones back. back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Okay, don't go too far, will ya? Cast it, uh, that away. All right. Let's see what's biting there. Fishing attracted to the bait will often nibble before taking a bite. Okay. Got one, Jack. The same fucking fish. Well, this is clearly the spot for redfin pickle. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle <laughs> Arthur. He's boring. I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? Hey, look at this. Finally, you made what? it. This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. Uh -oh. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Mm. Agent Milton? Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. 
We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's five thousand dollars for wow. your head alone. Five thousand dollars for me? Can I turn myself in? <laughs> we want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so. Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite uh -oh. Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything yeah. wrong. Aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare Tell him. me the philosophy. Tell him, Arthur. Listen, I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still I'm gonna shoot this bitch as soon as he walks away. Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. That's a flower. <laughs> yeah. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Did you like fishing? It was okay. I think wow, it's, it's amazing, you know, you get to see young Jack Marston before the time he becomes a fully grown man, really. You get, I mean, playing this game, you get to see him in his, in his full, uh, his entirety, you know, you from beginning to end. No. Great, we caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need, we had a... Good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Well, you followed back here. No, they know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived the mountains. We just need to stay calm. Mm hmm. Right, we're gonna go see John. John Marston. So we'll ride out. See what John's up to. Yeah. One star. Three stars, is that? Or is that two stars? Okay, that's, that's a three star apparently. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, I, I kill I killed it. Yes. Yeah, it said yeah, it says three stars. It says it's three stars. You were right. You were right, guys. I had to hog tie it and then kill it. No shooting. And let's see. Perfect pelt. Perfect pelt. Good job, everybody. We've got a perfect pelt. Finally. Right, we'll take that back to camp. Because I had to get a pelt. I had to test it. I was like, if, if I see one, I'm going to go for it. And I did. I saw one. And you can actually check the stars. You're right. Like, quite quickly without the binoculars. By just using your weapon. Your weapon just tells you what stars they are. And then you can just quickly uh, swap it over. Like, let's donate that meat. What can I do with a deer carcass apart from give it away? Oh, I can sell it. What can I craft? I've come up with some ideas for ways to improve things around here if you want to take a look. Scout camp. Oh, hanging bones. Buck antlers. Oh, I can make this. Craft. Ah, yes, that'll be much appreciated. And then elk. And then perfect goat hide. Yes, we'll see if anyone notices. Okay, well, thank you very much for your kind words. Let's go see the butcher in town, man. Let's go. Butcher. Well, now, I was wondering when you'd be back. Wish they all came in like Been a pleasure doing business with you. Okay. Oh, actually, I've got another car because I can. Oh, he won't buy that though, will he? He won't buy it. Right, um. Where are we headed? Let's go see Marston. Right, we're riding to see John. Can you do bond with your horse to increase the range at which it can be called? Hmm. Where's young John Marston? Practicing. Rotten shooting cowboy. Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, <laughs> shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. Well, can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. <laughs> I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Shaw doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, <laughs> Arthur Morgan, eh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily <laughs> tort again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know you are threatened yep. by me. Threatened the me. Irish. Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. <laughs> oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. 
What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. Oh, Bob. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure? This is gonna go downhill. No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. But they should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. I've got to be careful because I know that I'll end up uh, See, killing us on this. this. Is what I, mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Now. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We okay. Yeah, sorry, what were you just what horse did you get, he said? Mr. Marston. Mr. Smith. Okay. Mr. McGuire. Ah! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I got all my guns. Look at it, it's like a film, man. It's like a film, like a it's like a bad western. What's going on here? All right. Let's get it. Sean, is he up there? Is he down there? For sake, you ain't even taking a look yet. Okay, here we go. Search cabin. Okay. Take. Some decent stuff. Arthur, we've got a problem. Oh my. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you right away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberals. Eh? There's a few more of them torn up. Damn my big mouth. Okay. Let's deal with them. Left hand there. Oh, shit. You got more on the left. You got more coming from the trees there. Watch it there. 
Okay, he's dead. Wow. We're going. Okay, well, we got out of it, but we could have done better. We could have done better. We've done bad. Uh, Discord link chest. One second, boy. Let me give it to you. Please, we made some money. Now, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. What now? There you go. There's the Discord link. A real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine. See if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Yeah, of course not, boss. Ah, oh, I messed up, man. So annoying. Oh, there's a stranger here. Stranger danger, everybody. Stranger danger. Let's go. Let's go meet the stranger. Let's see what's what. Well, look at what we have here. Easy. Whoa. Let's go see what's what. Who are you? Great. Hey. Ah. Oh, ah. Oh. Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want a, a fish or a fish? A photograph. I'm sorry. People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I, I'm just a, just a normal guy. Who, well, happens to be very famous. Oh. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. <laughs> Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. Just in case you say something stupid. Nice to meet you. You too. All right. It's not, so not you for you. Uh, Just a rule. Right oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no, to marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph together, like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. Hey, what's up, Electric Longboard? Welcome back, dude. And there's really good money in this. I fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. Your home. I want to do more fishing, but not now, I guess. We'll have to, uh... Big boars. Let me, let me go and catch one of them. Go. You gotta help me out here, mister. Can you? Please. I've been on the run for days now. 
help you with shackles, huh? Well, I'm an outlaw myself. Just Easy now. Oh, oh yes, yes, perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm-hmm. I, I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. There's a fella told me about a big farmhouse out in the middle of nowhere, loaded up with valuables ripe for the taking. If you're in Rhodes, you head north and then east. There's a fella there who raises pigs. Oh. Yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't know, just a hunch. Hey, what the hell? Get away from me! What the hell? Serious, yes. You serious? You want to take him to prison? Jesus. I don't know. I'm being, I'm being coaxed into taking him back to jail. <laughs> well, he told me the information I want. I guess I'll just take him. Where's the? Where is the prison anyway? Where's the sheriff's office? Bounty. Oh, bounty hunting. So it'd be there, right? I mean, let's see. Let's see if I get any reward for taking him back. Because it's giving me the information I want about the house robbery. So I've got that information out of him by helping him out. But then obviously now I can always just take him to jail. Oh, wow. Really? Now, now th this guy's dummy for... You dummy for kidnapping. Get this guy off the back of the horse. Throw him down there. That's the last time I do anything like that. Alright, cut you free. You're gonna be careful there. so oh, sorry. I guess we're gonna have to just loot this guy. I feel bad. I feel bad. That's what I said, Morgan. Yep. Come on. Come What's up? We're going to meet all the strangers today. Yeah. Is that heading towards where we're going to be going anyway? Yep. Okay. Did the university send you? Oh, archaeologist. Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at. She's an archaeologist. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast... Shallow sea wow. that had the most incredible animal it. that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis. Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country. Send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. 
I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, okay. sir. See you later. Now, where's that goddamn horse? Seriously, though, where the fuck has that horse gone? Staying in the shade? One of my horses, I don't know where it's gone. It's gone somewhere, but I left it somewhere when I went and got this horse. And I, I don't know where the fuck it's gone now. It's, it's like, it's lost forever. Well, we're going to do something with strawberry, but I don't know what we're doing. Because we want is bounty at 85 bucks. Right, we're gonna, let's go and meet Mitch and see what's going on. It could be quite a dangerous mission. But we're going to area where we were there before. We killed everybody in the town. Oh, 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 we just, we just killed that bird. Mid-air kill. Pick up. We killed the little red birdie. And I put in my satchel and now I got a bird. Northern Cardinal. Hey. I know the way because I've just literally done the, a legendary kill on a friggin' uh, on a friggin' bird. Mid-air kill! I mean, you know what? You imagine like back, like nowadays, like you, you see lorries like smack, you know, hit birds while they're driving or a car or whatever. I just did that on a horse, dude. On a goddamn horse. A million bounty. I don't think that's possible. Not a million. I mean, that's just, just way too high. Where is he? Is he up here? Is he down there? Where, is he? Where are you? I think he's down here. Oh, yep, there he is. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. Oh, plan like An American pastoral scene. Like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. <laughs> I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> oh. Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. <laughs> yep. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? All right. I don't I don't like that new uh, the new um the new stuff that's going on in the game now. I think I, I think they're ruining the game. It's losing what it what it was. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. They should be here any minute. And then they walk off into the sunset, happily ever after. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right. <laughs> right. This is a robbery! Stop that coach right now! What in the hell? Right 
Got him in the head. Shotgun. Hurry, get up. I'll drive. No need to keep your face covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! They luck! Come on. I got a feel. I got. I just get a feeling that there's gonna be more people to shoot. Hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done. Same as you. Gets things done. You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. And I have expressed my gratitude. Shit. Now we're being robbed. Get across the river. Oh my God. What did I tell you? Dead. It's a good gun. It's a great gun. I love this gun. Wow, he stood back up again. Killing O'Driscolls. Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lockbreaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth. All I see is you. There better be money in there, I'm telling you. A river full of dead O'Driscolls. And a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at Yes! That. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Right, let's uh, start scouting for some stuff. Come on, you stupid horse! Get over here! Right, where are we going? Where are we going? We ain't got to go back to bloody that area over there, which is like out of bounds for us, really. Okay, we got something with John. We go see John Morstein. There we go.
Talk to you. Where are you? Come back here, you dumb horse. Where is it going? I was a loot the guy. So while you're here, okay, fella. Yeah. Wow, how far has that horse got? Yeah. Move, stranger. <laughs> I just love how he just. Throws the bodies on the ground. Boom! Oh, not you as well. Okay. Well, that's it. Done. Where's John? He's inside. There's John Marston. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about and you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Uh, Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting. Oh. That might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. I didn't check what. You'll see. More money. I, did, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't check uh, what I needed to, we try what else I needed to give him. That's soon. a good one. I'm, I need to go Come down there and have a look. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that was Dutch says a lot. That's just gift. Unless you can remember Same what I w you're oh, meant to yeah? give the trapper to make you, you legendary clothing. I was a prize pony once. Now I'm a workhorse. Listen, Dutch is. But, but well, gun store. Yep. Can you uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? Oh. I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Right. Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. That's what we're going to get. Because it costs nothing. Okay. Well, thank you very much for the rifle. I'm sure it's going to come in a lot of use. Right, where's John? Yeah. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run in with that fella earlier. <laughs> we ain't on the best of terms. <laughs> you had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. Oh, we're taking. We're gonna take sheep. This is an interesting steal. John showing his future self here. Slow it down. Let's head up to the ridge up there. Get a proper view. I love it when it takes over like this. Gives you a chance to to kind of like take in the surroundings. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Oh look, there they are. I think that's them over there. So what now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only branch hands. Just watch the sheep. <laughs> well, 
Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the... <laughs> that ought to do it. Yep, he's gone. We're rounding up sheep, everyone. Welcome. What? 325, 2018. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? Oh, I'm, I'm leading this. Right, okay. to me. You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. Now you got it. Okay, we're riding sheep back to Valentine or something, I think. Go on. <laughs> bear, bear, bear. Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. For 25%. You want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're <laughs> buying. But we'll pay you. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Hey, boy. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. Oh. Yes? Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Well, that's the least you could do. Not everything. But, in the end, I don't believe in absolutes. Just that's shades you, of rain. sir. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man for compromising. I fear at my age. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch. Meepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here now! Vandalin! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall! Okay. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you you start spinning the yarn. When I think the moment's right, I'll make a move. Got where I am by Why not? Like you rob from me, Vandalin. You're done. Let's see how many times I gotta redo this mission. Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken oh, identity. Yeah. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. 
Okay, that was a... Oh, fuck. The guy... The guy died first. Hold on a second, what the hell? What am I? Oh. I am Archibald Smith. I'm shooting them all dead. Literally shooting up the whole. Come on, you fat ass. Come on. on the back of John's horse and let's get it. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Right in the forehead! Time to go, boy. Time to go. Yep. Yeah. Escape from Valentine. Ah. I think I've escaped. I lost my friggin' hat again. Well, I didn't take any health items. I just died a few times, that's all. Not the same. Hello? Hello. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? <laughs> Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Boy. Ride to Dewberry Creek. Okay, well, let's uh, ride now. Where is this place? Here. Amazing. Look where we're bloody going, man. To a new home. 
think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. It seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Okay, search for any inhabitants. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Oh. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Yeah. Okay, well, let's have a look around and make sure. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. I'm being careful. <laughs> oh. A young family. It's okay. It's okay. You come out of there. You okay? I don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Oh, Dutch. It's German. No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here! They took our father! Who did? Men, last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. I don't see nothing. Bookmarks. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Uh, do you get the feeling that Arthur doesn't actually want to do this? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? Let me make sure this is right. Looking for those tracks. Continues along the shore here. So, family, you know? Just look at the game. Just look at this. They actually made this this realistic. I hope it looks as good as I'm playing it. It looks amazing. Oh. Be careful. Oh. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. camp for settlers, okay. Maybe. There he is. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. Come on, before someone comes back. Three coming right at us. You get the hell away from him. What are we doing? This ain't even our goddamn fight. Get him, did I? Got him. Schneiden Sie das Seil durch, bitte. It's okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Okay. 
Return the settler to his family. Take you back to your family. Was machen wir jetzt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Let's go take take him back to his family. Shots! We did it! We rescued them. They're happy. My heart, all the Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh, sie sind ein wunderbar. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here. Ja, ja, Vamos. das war. Vamos. Uh, ich habe was für Sie. Ein Moment. Uh, um, danke schön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Oh, it's a gold bar. Guess it was a pleasure. Yeah. How much is that gold bar worth? You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Chapter three, Clement's Point. Oh, really? That means I've got a, I've got a thousand. Though.